After weeks of protests and political opposition, the Millennium Challenge Corporation grant has been tabled in Nepal's parliament. On Sunday, the CPN Unified Socialist, a coalition partner in the Ashur Bahadur Doba government, allowed the MCC to be tabled in parliament despite having a tough start. Now, the party says that the grant will get a formal approval from their side only after their concerns around it are addressed. Now, this development comes after the Nepali Prime Minister Durba held a flurry of meetings with the coalition partners earlier this week to shore up support for the bill. The MCC has seen opposition from inside as well as outside the Nepali parliament. For the last few weeks, the UML has been raising slogans against the impact of the American grant. While on Sunday, even as the grant was being tabled, people took to the streets in Kathmandu opposing the American grant. The protesters allege that the MCC will compromise the sovereignty of Nepal. Speaking on the MCC, Nepal's foreign ministry has said that the decision to accept development assistance is taken by Nepal in terms of our national interest and priority. Further adding that the sovereign parliament of Nepal alone decides what development assistance is needed in the best interest of Nepal and Nepali people. The Millennium Challenge Corporation is a U.S. government aid agency. In 2017, the corporation issued a grant to fund infrastructural projects in Nepal, including electricity transmission lines and road improvement projects. Now, America says the fund comes with no strings attached and assures that Washington has no hidden flaws and that it is not a loan but a grant, hence does not need repayment. But since 2018, the grant has been embroiled in a political back and forth. The compact should have come into operation in 2019, but did not show any signs of progress until the U.S. scaled up pressure on Prime Minister Durba, setting a deadline of the 28th of February for Nepal to ratify it. Now, the U.S. Embassy in Kathmandu has, however, said the decision on the Millennium Challenge Corporation is Nepal's to make alone as a sovereign democratic nation. Now covering the tensions from Ground Zero is our reporter Soloni Murakra. Listen to this report. A scuffle between the Nepal police and the anti-MCC protesters uh, led to stone pelting from both sides. The police, the Nepal police, had to uh, for, had to use uh, water cannons and tear gas on the protesters to disperse them. Anyway, it's, it has been over three hours now, and the protest and the protest continue to escalate. Um, this is protest. Uh, the protesters against basically against the MCC compact. The compact, which was uh, tabled in the parliament today by by uh, the coalition government, was able to reach a consensus. However, we see there's a discord between the coalition. Itself as many uh, ruling MPs are protesting inside the parliament against the uh, MCC compact. Uh, Saloni Muraka for Vyond World is one in Kathmandu, Nepal. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.